What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have some interesting sightings that have surfaced that I wanted to share with you guys and see what your thoughts were. Uh, so we'll go through this together and uh, break it down for you. The first one being the thumbnail image here. Um, now this is a pretty extreme but really cool design. Uh, this looks to have gotten a lot of its features from the McLaren Senna, which is interesting to see some of those elements carried over to the C8 body. The first thing you will notice here is uh, these massive side air intakes, um, which seems very, very similar to the McLaren Senna. Um, those look really cool. I'll put up a picture here of the McLaren Senna so you can see the resemblance. Uh, I think it might look even a little bit better on the C8 in my opinion. It actually works pretty well here in this design. Uh, there seems to be several added pieces of aero on this car. If you look at all of the black accents, you have some here on the front bumper. Uh, you have the side skirts here, uh, some more inside this uh, air vent, and then also on the rear bumper here. Um, so I don't know if these are, uh, if something like this were to go into production, I'm sure it would be either carbon flash or, or carbon fiber. It's hard to tell from this render. Uh, which one it is it kind of looks like it's carbon flash But you'll you'll notice this piece here in the rear coming down and attaching to the rear splitter uh, That's a pretty cool design which would probably make this a little bit wider We only have these two shots of it, so it's hard to tell uh, then you have the side skirts over here with a with an added vent uh, right in here uh, Actually looks like there's two there's one on this end in the front and then also coming towards the back maybe for extra brake cooling and then it also adds a little bit extra up here attaching to the front fender which is a really cool design and uh, also probably extending that out a little bit more as well and then up here you can see the fender louvers that have been added which is pretty cool on this one you don't really see them much on the top not sure if they left them out there on the top but from this angle you could definitely see that they're there I and mean, that looks very factory it looks pretty cool and if you come down over here to the front bumper here, which has been changed and updated pretty extensively and yet again resembles the front end of the McLaren Senna, has a sort of arrow piece that comes down on the side here, allowing air to pass through. And this looks, looks look very similar to the Senna. But overall looks pretty cool in this whole design with the front bumper and these added vents. I mean, the whole thing together looks, looks pretty, pretty nice. Now, if we take a look at the top here, this is a top view looking down at the car. You can see the hood pretty well though. The hood has been changed slightly with these sort of slots here and uh, central air ducts maybe to help increase the overall downforce of the car. And then back here, you have uh, two more added air vents, one on either side here, most likely for engine cooling uh, before sliding back here to the rear duct wing spoiler which this one seems to also have that, that color matching option for the carbon flash. And this is a pretty interesting choice here because the McLaren Senna, which this seems to have gotten a lot of the design elements from, has a massive rear wing at the end of it. So they seem to go in the opposite direction with having this little duck wing spoiler, which in my opinion looks really cool, not too over the top, um, but with the overall aggressiveness of this render I, I probably would have liked to see a little bit bigger of a, of, a, of a wing on here but overall I mean this aerial shot is pretty cool to look at also because you don't get to see this on these renders um, they usually just have you know side shots or, or a front shot a rear shot but they don't really have too many shots of these uh, aerial shots looking down at the renders here so it's a really cool angle to see this at and also when you're looking down on this render you can see a little bit of the side skirts coming off here on either side but you can see how widened these rear quarter panels are um, for those massive rear vents here that's a really cool design as you can see how much wider the back end is compared to the front so let's head on over to the next render uh, we have this one here. This was interesting. This one's actually labeled as Zora Turbocharged. So it's pretty cool that they have that label here. I guess they're um, designing this in terms of representing the Zora. And I like this render a lot because it has uh, design elements that we have not seen before in any other renders. There have been so many that, you know, a lot of them have kind of been repeating themselves on most of the design features, but this one here is a little different. The first thing I'll point out here is the amount of cooling towards this back end here. You have these vents on the rear quarter panels here, similar to the vents maybe on the C7 models, they're a little bit, a little bit bigger. 
most likely for engine cooling here. And then you also have these vents on either side, maybe to expel some of that heat. That's a really cool design here. These types of vents we haven't seen on any other renders before. Um, and, I, and I like that a lot. That's a neat design. Another thing I like a lot on this render is kind of hard to see because of the angle, but uh, this section right here is, uh, well, it looks to be two separate roof scoops on either side of the, the engine bringing air down into the engine compartment. This is a really cool design instead of having the singular a top mounted one up here that we've seen in so many renders and this would also allow for the removal of the roof uh, to still be an option as well without any interference you know sometimes when you have the the roof scoops that are built in here they kind of come down towards the middle and you know I don't know if that would work in terms of removing the roof and still having that roof scoop there so this kind of brings it back a little bit more towards the engine hatch here kind of like the McLaren 765LT just recently did with their new option there but this is a cool design to have two air scoops one on either side here that will add to the aggressiveness of this Zora model along the side here you have the similar side vents right here these we've seen a bunch of times before um, reminiscent of the C8R but also on a lot of the C8Z06 renders that we've gone through those do not seem to have uh, changed much. But if you move up towards the front fender here, you can see that this panel has been upgraded to a more aggressive style. This looks really good on this design and can quite possibly be functional as well, as you would have air coming in through the front bumper here and exiting through this newly updated fender, keeping that air tucked in close to the body before exiting um, into that rear side vent here. So that's really cool, I think that works very well with this design um, and seems to be functional as well. Uh, the last thing to note here is the front hood. This hood is also very different from what we have seen so far and I do like it. Uh, it has a downward sloping design here with these added vents on either side that match the design of the vents in the back it looks like. So that's pretty cool that that kind of ties that in together and this helps bring the overall design together really well and seems to be made of carbon fiber too unless that's carbon flash but that's most likely carbon fiber the only thing that I would say on here is I'd wish I'd like to see a different rear spoiler this looks to be the high wing option I would, would like to see a more uh, aggressive rear spoiler or rear wing here that we're gonna be seeing on you know the Z06 models and also the stock wheels I would like to see you know a newly updated wheel or an aftermarket wheel at least something else on here that would set this apart from the standard C8 models that's pretty much gonna wrap things up for today uh, with just these two renders here these are both pretty cool I like them both a lot let me know down in the comments below which one you guys like better which one you would like to see as a C8Z06 or a Zora model. And if you could, please hit that subscribe button. That helps a lot. I'll be putting out more videos just like this in the future. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.